G'day Putters, Jim here again. Um, up here at the Woolai River, um, boys up here have developed a bit of a flathead problem apparently. The uh, flathead have reached monster proportions, big size flatties up here. I reckon they got so big because they've been eating bull sharks, which unusual, but you can see it happen when you see the size of the ones they pull out of here. They've um, had a few problems, some kids have gone missing, some kids have been swimming, so they go in the shallows and then they uh, come across a flatty and bang gone and they're a real ambush predator the flathead so you can see these are perfect conditions we're on the uh, river flats so there'd be barely enough water we're in about probably a couple of foot of water and that would be barely enough to cover their spine so good chance of spotting one just walking around out here um i've taken on the Whee! got the um fly rod out here today because I figure if I'm going to take one, particularly a man sized one, I want to take him mano a mano. So we want to just basically fish on a string this stuff. And there we go. Um, yeah, they weren't so much worried about losing a couple of kitties. Um, you're always going to lose a couple of kitties around here, but um, they lost a surfer the other day. Um, he was out the back and um, sucked his leg off. His buddy Flathead came up off the bottom. He was um, locked in the green room in a tube, slotted he was, and um, there was a bit of footage, drone footage, and um, you watch this Flatty come up and bang! Ooh, hello. Big Flatty just in here. Here we go, baby, here we go. Come to Jim. A lot of action all over the place here this morning. really is hand in mouth stuff. Holy cow. No, pelicans. Oh, hey. Ooh, got a big nibble then. We're on. We're on punters. We're going back out for that one. All right, eh? 35 foot cast, intermediate line, using a nine weight rod. Eight weight rod, nine foot long. Don't confuse those two. Completely different setup for a completely different job. Yeah. I'd like to tell you a few stories while I'm out here, but um, don't have any. I probably do. But what seems like a story to me, or a story to you, it's just gibber for me. But we're off. Throwing a little. Uh, Little clouds of fly, they call these ones. This one's a pink one. Um, so what we're trying to do is attract a boy fish. Um, doesn't want to sound misogynistic, but flathead don't respect the new woke generation of fishing. And boys like pink flies. And girls like really masculine ones with big broad shoulders. Um, strut around and uh, make themselves known. Well boys, we'd have liked to have got onto that big one there before. That was uh, right there for the making. But, ooh, ooh, ooh. Nah, pelicans again. My word, what a day of fishing though. Woolai River, 19 degrees, 7 o'clock in the morning. Just the tail end of the outgoing tide. If any of you want to emulate There we go. But uh, if you can't get up here, obviously always have a spotter or a buddy because um, there's some big things out in this river, really big things. You go out too deep and uh, you're not coming back. Not even Jim's coming back. So always have a buddy. Obviously I don't have a buddy today. Um, I work solo, but um, I've been accredited to work solo on a river like this. But uh, obviously normal people, a buddy, Maybe a rope around your waist, life jacket, and you are on.